Alright, good morning, sweet Jamaica. I'm on Chucky's yard in Portland, Jamaica, and I want to have a taste test of the chocolate tea that Miriam made for me. Because I was talking to Chucky last night, he says he grew up with this thing. So, Chucky. Yes, yes, <laughs> to be honest, it's true. Remember, you know, I was born in the early 60s, grew up in the 70s with my grandmother and my grandfather. And all my life growing up from the 60s to the 70s, it's always every morning chocolate tea, chocolate tea. My grandma prepare, you know, and bake dumpling, you know. Because during that time, my grandparents, they don't have access to money. I must tell you the honest truth, you know. So they have to survive, survive by creating their own ways of provide their own food, you know. And most of the time, it's all about breadfruit, banana, and all these natural food, you know. Because money is not in the plate to run to the shop, you know. So, chocolate for me, it's a super, super nice tea. And Macho, I've been watching you so long, so <laughs> What's long. What's up, man? And Ross Kitchen, you know. Right. And I appreciate now you arrive at my place. So, you're welcome, welcome. It was nice to meet you, okay? And I want to enjoy every moment of you, the time you spend here with me, right? And now I'm introducing you to my new bar, you know. Oh, dude! All right, yes, we get a bar yes, right away. Yes, 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 yes. So I just gradually come up with the idea around three weeks ago and said, Chucky, you know, say the guests always come here and talking about they need something to drink and them have to run up there and run to Hope Bay mm. looking for drink and sometimes the people don't even want to move, you know. They just want to relax and sit and smoke, you know. So I just said, fuck it, you know. I'm just going <laughs> to add it on more, you know. So I extend the building a little bit more taller nice. that people can get space to come inside and have the counter. And here it is, you know. And I bought a new brand fridge, you know, because you and the YouTube channel that I make with Simon, I always promise my guests that they can use fridge and everything in the kitchen. So I don't want to take away that from them. So I still leave the fridge there and go outside in Port Antonio and bought a new one, you know. And I can guarantee you, after testing out multiple red stripes, the fridge works good, really good, really good. Ice cold, cold as ice. <laughs> super good, super good, you know. But I'm a little bit more still freelance with the bar, you know, because to be honest, I don't really sit in there to really sell people, you know, because I know the people who come around me are very honest people. So I just leave it freelance. They can just go and serve themselves mm -hmm. and just pay me when they're ready to go, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. You know what you should do? Like they do an in Indo, we get coffee and banana bread every morning and they just have a little paper with everyone's name, a book with each guest's name and you just write, keep your tab and... I surprised myself at the end of the week I've had like 12 coffees, 17 coconuts, da, 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 da. but yeah, get a little book and then guests can put it in. But Well, maybe we'll, in the future, mm -hmm. we can move on to that, you know, but for now, just leave it freelance style like that. Honor know? system, easy. Yes. Yeah. I keep track of my phone because my brain forgets. That's why I have to write it. Right, <laughs> right, you know. So I'm just going to work with it like this for now, you know, little by little, step by step, you know, mm -hmm. and it will grow in the future you know absolutely yeah the yeah. bar is like proper bar height you said you're getting some friends to make you um bar stool yes too, right yes i already ordered the bar stool from the guy you're gonna bring me four nice stool you know cool yes that's the people can come and sit you know post up yes so they have it very nice here and comfortable and i'm organizing to fix the music right now you know yes, yes you know that things can happen i'm not here to really pressure no one you know i'm here to open myself and make the people feel happy when they come to my place you know and i always say it you know and i will never stop saying it. for me it's not all about money it's to me to give back to the people and make the people feel at home when they come at my place you know mm -hmm. i don't chase people for money you know no i'm not that type of guy you know i'm a guy who like to help and do everything what I can do to make the people feel happy around me. Right now, my place is running, boom, although we have coronavirus. Right now, the place is full, you see it for yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's yes. three, three other guests. Other yes, yeah. from Switzerland, Germany, and you match from Canada. Mm -hmm. So everything going on good, you know? Yes, yeah. just like that, you know? 
And I, I've definitely felt at home here since the second I arrived. <laughs> Even though I arrived right at night, the first thing I come up is like, Hey, Chucky, what's up? Here's the new bar! Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And see, guess what you're sitting? Mm -hmm. You have a swell feet where you come from, Montego Bay. Way. And the first thing I do in the morning, try to assist him mm -hmm. with some aloe vera. Come here to help the people and take care of the people, not to take away things from the people. Mm. No, I'm not that type of person. I'm a generous person. I will do everything to make the tourists happy as long as they are Chucky Freelance Place. That's nice. me. Yeah, man. One love. But now, later, you're going to fix the chocolate tea and then we drink chocolate tea together when the guy they wake up from Switzerland. Mm. We just make like a big family in the morning. Just do what you have to do and drink our chocolate tea. Okay? Yes. But you should go on to over here and hear what this guy have to say. He's from Germany, you know. He just arrived here last night. Yeah, I arrived yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to for the, for the time here. Yes. So, so how long you want to stay here? I have no limit. As I said yesterday, I'm just glad to be here. Mm -hmm. And to I enjoy the sun, to enjoy the fruits of Jamaica. Yes. Yeah, man. And I'm happy to have you here at my place. No? Thank you, That's sir. why when you wake up in the morning, I introduce you to go outside and pick your lemongrass yeah, man. and, really and pick your mint. Yeah. You know? That's you can just wake up and live and just do everything from the nature. It's very nice that way, you know? I'm yes. looking forward to it. Yes. Yeah. And you come here for getting medicine to eat all the natural food in Jamaica, right? I do, yeah. Yes, and Chucky Freelance Place open for everything and for all the tourists that come to Jamaica. No problem when you come here. Here, you have to fret about nothing. You can just sleep with the door open. My dog is here, Scrappy is so super good. <laughs> so super but the good. real girl dog is Boston and everyone knows Boston you are the vicious one right Boston yes you're so vicious yeah so super good yeah. but was planning to go on the road some way somehow and catch some breadfruit and see if we can do some breadfruit over there and let this guy taste all Jamaican breadfruit you know yeah. they're very excited want to taste it you know absolutely so we will see how it work out later in the day sure right perfect yes and the sun will come out yeah later it's coming blue yeah but is that's how Portland stay sometime in the morning you get a little bit of rain a little bit of sun mm -hmm. and it keep the balance for the plants you know that's they can grow and fresh and green you know that's why most people love Portland, you know? Yes. I agree. Every time I meet people from Kingston, if I ask them which parish they would <laughs> want to live, if they didn't have to work in Kingston, they all say Portland. Yeah, man. Every single one of them. Portland is a very nice, relaxing place. Very green. The crime, very, very low. I don't know it because the people, they live in this green space with nature where they can just wake up and go to the tree and pick fruit and don't have to stress about money to go to the shop to buy fuel. Maybe that's why the crime rate is so low, you know? Maybe. Yes, you know? Yeah. Because when you live in the city like Kingston, Ho Chi, Montego Bay, and when you wake up and don't have money, you get really aggressive, you know, because there's no tree around. You could get a breadfruit, you could get a banana, nobody mm. can offer you nothing. So you become very, very, very aggressive and thinking where the next meal going to come from, you know? So that's why the crime cannot go up in the city more than in the countryside, you know. Because in the countryside, the people, I think the people have more love, mm. to be honest. I think the people have more love who live in the country, you know, because it's more peaceful, you know. And when you can wake up in a place like this, oh, just, yeah, just this wake is... up and live and look around and see everything green and beautiful with the nature, oh, it's so awesome. It's the best morning in your life, you know? For sure. Yes. And hanging out in the river last night, like you can just see it through <laughs> down here. It's so healthy. There's so many birds. You can see all the fish. There's Jenga jumping around. I got this badass slow motion shot of all the Jenga. Thousands of them just bump, 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 jumping, jumping. It's nice to see such a healthy ecosystem here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And if we have the time, we, we're going to go up the river, but it all depends on the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Because time is important, and through your the curfew and the lockdown, and you want to check out the next place, so maybe you don't have the time, because to walk to the river, it takes a little bit more time, you know. Mm -hmm. So maybe the next time you say when you come back in morning. December. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh sorry. No, no, <laughs> no, no man, you're you welcome. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, you know. No problem, you know. This is the next guy from Switzerland now who stay at my place, you know. 
Yes, it's the first time in Jamaica. Yeah. And he told me since he's come to my place, everything changed for him in Jamaica, you know. Because he stayed in several places, I never feel so good, never feel so comfortable. But since he arrived at Freelance Chucky Place, oh, everything changed, you know. He even feel like he want to stay longer now in Jamaica, because he feel at home, you know. And feel like he's there around trustworthy people, you know. Right. That's he can just put down his things, he don't have to worry, say somebody's going to steal something, or nothing like that, you know. So what you say? Say something, man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it's not also all because of Chucky, it's also because of yeah. him. Boston's a badass. Yeah, we're just talking about how safe we feel with Boston mm -hmm. here. Yeah. yeah so, man. Chucky, do you want to show us how to put the chocolate on then? Oh, the chocolate. Yeah, I got some water boiling already, although I might need to do some more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, yes. morning, everyone. What up? What up? With Morgan. With Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, Chucky's learning uh, Swiss, German, and German. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. I got some cinnamon, actually, Chucky. So, cinnamon. Uh, let me go grab the cinnamon. Yeah, go ahead and grab the cinnamon. Yeah. All right. Ms. Miriam made me get cinnamon. She said, make sure you don't forget the cinnamon. So I'm going to get that from my bag here. All right, this is Princess. Princess is actually Moko's dog, former dog. Yes, Moko. Moko, Moko hooked up Princess. Me, but I have to go to Port Antonio and take it from me. And I believe Princess is Wasi's daughter, which could make her the grandson of Big Head, if I'm not mistaken. If I know the family history of the doggies. But you guys are loving it here. Yeah. New Boston? I got a whole bag of cinnamon, Chucky. Yeah, cinnamon. Mm-hmm. The leaf, not the not the bark. Yeah, the other tree around here too. Mm-hmm. Leaf tree, you know? I like it in the porridge, I like it in chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh wow, she gave me a whole stack. Nice leaf there. Yeah man, I like cinnamon. It's even nice when you put it in caramel porridge, you know? Yeah. With coconut milk. Oh, super nice, you so know? So good. Yeah, I used to drink a lot of caramel porridge with my grandparents, and they put cinnamon. Nice. Yes, even banana porridge. You ever taste banana porridge? Oh, yeah. Oh, super nice, yeah. you know? But I don't like rice porridge, to be honest with no? you. No? No. Ah. I don't like rice porridge. I prefer caramel porridge. Planting porridge, nice stuff. Planting porridge is real yes. good. We had that the other day. With milk, you know? Mm. Super nice, you know? But a long time, to be honest, I don't drink these things, you know? Mm. Yeah. Because I just really just lay back and just fuck around and do it. <laughs> it's a bit of work. <laughs> yeah, I know, you know. These ones, they kind of look like a soursop leaf, don't they? Yeah. Does it remind you of soursop? Like see, they got the same See line? soursop over here. Oh, yeah. Yes. The young tree, right? Yeah. See soursop tree right here. Yeah. Just, this, this is soursop just coming tree. in. Yes. See here? Yeah? So it's got the one leaf on it, but yeah, the same similar kind yes. of shape. Yeah. And, and this is the calabash tree. I, I don't want to call it the Paki. Paki, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what Koopy calls it. Yes. Paki. Yes. This is a calabash tree. So grow, some, your, grow some bowls. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, look here. Lemongrass. That's some. So that big. is a huge <laughs> lemongrass. Oh my god. Also called fever grass, right? Yes. Nice. You can see someone's been having tea. Yes, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. The sun's definitely coming out. It yeah, was, Raining like crazy this morning, but that's why it always looks so pretty. I already put some cinnamon leaf to boil in the water, and then after you can grate the chocolate and let it awesome. go inside. You know? How many cups do you get out of one uh, chocolate ball? Would you say, Chucky? To be honest, I think you can get four cups out of this one. Okay. Yeah, I used to make them, you know, but but we, we used to make them bigger than this, uh -huh. and then roll it. You have to do it like this, so huh? okay. roll it, you know, you yeah. pour it in the mortar. Yeah. And then you have to use a spoon every time and turn it and then poof, 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 and pound and turn and then it comes start to get fatter and fatter and fatter. And then you use a spoon and take it out and put it in your hand and then you make all this round ball. Yeah man, this is my history man. I know these things. You know? mm. I, I grow this you know, grow this way, you know. Remember I told you? I born in the early 60s, grew up in the 70s. During that time, the people in Jamaica used to have more culture. 
and live more natural, you know. Yeah, yeah. But since 1980 you now, you know, the people divert to the American culture, because the American culture come more stronger. 1980, from Ronald Reagan in Jamaica, you know. So the people kind of lose them way and start to live more commercial, you know. Yeah, man. Start to go to more shop and things like that. People start to get bad mind and get jealous because money start to come into play, more material things start to come into play. Because when I was growing, I don't grow with electricity. I don't grow with fridge. I don't grow with pipe. I have to wake up in the morning like now and go to the river okay. with a pan and get water and bring to my grandparents. And weekend like now, Saturday, I have to go to the bush with the machete chop the hood, make it in bungle, put on my head, bring back home, put in the kitchen, that's we can get fire. That's how me grow. So if I should look upon my life growing up now, ah, ah. <laughs> you'd be surprised. I'd be eh? surprised. That's why sometimes yeah, I feel man. a little bit bad, you know, to be honest with you, you know, that these old parents drop out, you know, because right now I should very, very, very in a better position to contribute back to them, you know. Yeah, man. Mm. I told you, my grandmother died, and my grandfather, and they never have a simple gas stove like this. These people don't know these things, you know. All their life is just hood and blowing wood fire. Yeah. Yes, they never get that privilege, you know. But now, me get this privilege, you know. Look, I have so much fridge, fridge top house, fridge in the bar, fridge in the kitchen. Yeah. Ah, I should can go to the supermarket and spend twenty, fifteen thousand dollars and bring food for them, you know. That's how I feel, you know. I feel a little bit guilty about it, you know. Because I love these people even more than my mom, you know. Yes, because my mom give me away and go to Kingston looking for better material life yeah. and leave me with these people. So these people grow me from kids. Oh, wow. Yes, so I, I didn't call my mother mama, you know, I just call her a normal name, you know, mm. and call my grandparents mama. That's how it go, you know, during that time. Because most people grow with their grandparents, most kids in that time, they grow with their grandparents. Yeah. So they call their grandparents mom, mama. Why well, go on mama? And then you call your mother just a normal name where other people call her, you know. That's how it works, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I feel so bad. Are these people gone and I don't give back nothing in that sense. Even the place that I have here now, the land, it's come from these people. I didn't bought it, you know. Mm. They die and leave this is it. Family. Yes. This is your territory. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. They die and leave it. And me inheriting now, paying the tax and things like that, you know. But I just do the survey. That's why I could change everything now in my personal name, you know. Yeah. Because I can't you know, pay it in my grandparents' name. Yes, at the tax office in Port Antonio. But I bring in the land surveyor and he surveyor it now. So when this process comes through, everything will fall in my name. And I must tell the people right now to freelance Chucky, not go into Germany. Okay? I'm right here. Right, right here. Real okay, close in, to this shop. Yes, I'm minute, right yeah. here in Jamaica. I'm not going to Germany. I'm just going to stay here and take care of my things and stay here and wait for the people. That's when the people come, I can help them out and make nobody dis disrespect them and treat them in no bad way as long as they come to Jamaica and come around me. So, Germany, out of the question. Out of the question. I'm staying here and run my place. So, people. The video that you see with me and Simon say I'm going to Germany. Forget about that, right? Forget about that part. Jamaica is my home. Kano Road, Hope Bay, right? I'm not going nowhere. So don't get scared. Just come along. I'm here to help you and waiting for you here at my place. Okay? One love. Blessed love. Rastafari. Aile Aile. Macho, you are so good. You know? Yes. And I meet you the first time. And from I see you, I see you as an open mind person. Yes. Bless that man. Yes, Bless you are a very open mind person, very generous person. You are not here to abuse people, to manipulate people. You are here to help people, you know. But it's just because some people don't understand, you know. Yes. Oh, yeah. And they're a little bit greedy to you know. Yes. There's always bad mind people. I've learned yes. that. It doesn't yes. matter what you do, how good you are. There's going to be a percentage that hates. That's just it. So try I know. and stay above and just forget. I know. You know, that's it. Just keep keep doing the thing. And I don't find that with you. And you're just here for two days. Mm. And me see, see you already. Very, very open person. 
person, generous person with love, person who want to come and help people to take them to the next level, you know. Yes, man. Respect. And I appreciate that so much, you know. Cool. I yeah, appreciate man. you, man. Thanks yeah, for man. having me. I feel, like I said, I feel right at home the second I rolled up on the yard. Even yeah, before, because we've <laughs> talked on the phone on yes, WhatsApp before, yes, right? Yes, so yes, yes. Even just having a chat with you, I'm like, okay, this guy's solid. Yeah, man. You get he's a vibe. A, you get a vibe from people. Yeah, know, man. Right he's right a good there. guy, man. Mm -hmm. And see, it's so nice here. My friend just wake up from Switzerland, you see? <laughs> you sit here. No, oh, man. Giant, you know? yeah. I wake up and live. Yes, no, <laughs> yes. That's the motto here, you know? Yeah. All you have to do, just wake up and live. You don't have to ask no question. You just do what you want, like you're at your own home, where you're from, Germany, Switzerland, America. It don't matter where you're from. Yeah, when you're at a chucky place, you do what you want, right? Yeah, man. That's how we do. Right, That's right. It. So just do what we have to do, you know? That's the chocolate that, tea that, from, uh, her, her name's Miriam. So I've known her for a long time and so she made mm -hmm. it. You smell it. So this was made uh, just yeah. two days ago. So this was the Crazy. She yeah. pounded how, it. How up. is it you made? It. You take the fruit off mm -hmm. and then you, you dry the beans in the sun. Then you crush the beans in like an old wood, they call it a martyr, with like a big wooden pole. And this and, is the result of that. And so hand, hand rolled by her. This is the beans rolled out. Crazy. Off. And then we're going to drink it with cinnamon leaf that she picked also. So this is like, but it smells, it smells real good. Yeah, man. it's like the most like legit chocolate, yeah. chocolate you can get. <laughs> Fresh, <from. laughs> like stick chocolate and make it into a ball. Is Jamaica <laughs> famous for chocolate? I don't know about famous, but no, you I certainly see it everywhere. Yes, mm -hmm. I always see like chocolate beans, but it's more like South America. Yeah, the, yeah, it's of kind of more famous because I think yeah. that's where it comes from originally, mm -hmm. but. Uh, You'll see, you know the fruit, it's like a yellow looking kind of football shape. Mm -hmm. So you'll walk around and see all these yellow footballs in all a tree. All the big ones. Mm -hmm. all right. So that's the Oh, chocolate. you saw them also like in the wild? Yeah, they're, they're I'm sure if you go for place. a walk, you'll see them Crazy. here too. Yeah. This is Chucky's cat, very friendly. Puss Puss. What's up? And you get along with the dogs too. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Very friendly vibes over here. Hey, <laughs> princess, just as I say, friendly vibes. This is the original chocolate. Yes, that was quick. Mm -hmm. This, is, oh, this yeah. is this is the original chocolate, you know? Oh, yeah, this is the one yes, I, I just picked it from the tree, you know? Right. Yes. So this, this is the original one. You, it, you, they don't do it like this. You can just break it. You see it? And then you take the beans, you dry them. Yes. You can taste the fruity. You can go out with. Mm -hmm. The fruit tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and then you bring it to the river and then you wash it mm -hmm. and dry it. Put it on a piece of zinc in the mm -hmm. sun and dry it. And then you roast it. Mm -hmm. And after you roast it, it becomes crisp, you know. Yep. As you could take off the skin outside and put it in the mortar and pound it. All right. Yeah, man. Super nice. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So this is the original chocolate. This is the one that comes to Switzerland, too, you know. Mm -hmm. But they're going to do it in a different process yep. and make all this chocolate, chocolate, chocolate <laughs> in, in, in Switzerland. But this is the original. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. How many okay. days do they dry it for? Well, to be honest, it all depends on the, the sun, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can take maybe two days, yeah. three days. But I told you before, this is the way me grow, you know. You see, over there, used to have acres of chocolate no when way. I was a boy growing up in the 70s. So we used to go over there in the bush and play cowboy, you know. <laughs> yeah, cowboy, because during that time, you go with Billy the Kid, you know, those movies, they call him Billy the Kid. You must know those cowboy movies, you know? Yeah. Because we don't go like this kid, no have smartphone. Remember I told you, I never have TV, I don't know this thing, you know? So we have to create our own fun outside in the bush, climbing in the tree, <laughs> playing cowboy, you know? With, with guns shooting off at each other, boo, 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 you know? That's how we used to play, marble, gig, and all these things, you know? Yes. It's not like this guy now sit on the phone playing game. We don't know this thing. Mm -hmm. No, we have to create our own way of life outside. You know? Yes, it was nice and it was fun, you know. But no, it's crazy. I don't even understand how these kids gonna live, you know. Yeah. I feel sorry for them, you know. Yes, yes, to be honest, you know. If I didn't get child already, I would never want no more child mm -hmm. in this life, you know. That it make no sense, you know. No. The kids now grow, they're gonna grow like robots. They're not going to make their own decision about life no more, I mm. think. I think that way. 
That's my opinion, you know. Yeah. Other people have different way of thinking about it. But for me, I think people don't think about future no more. It makes no sense, you know. Because global warming is real, so you never know where you're going to wake up and see or what's going to happen the next day. You never know. Just give thanks when you wake, you wake. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to work for now, you know. It makes no sense, make no plan, you know. Because the system moving in so much different direction. Today you hear this, tomorrow you hear a different thing. Now they say you must take two vaccines, now they say you have to take three. Because <laughs> two not working, you know. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I'm not against the vaccine. If you want to take it, you're free to take it. It's a choice of your own, you know. Nobody forcing you to take it, you know. So people just do what they have to do, you know. And if that's the way you have to do to travel with a vaccine passport, if you don't want to stop at one point, you have to do it or just make yourself stop there, you know. Because that's the way the world is going now, you know. It's a new world order. So if you live in the world, you have to deal with it. Or you come out the society and go further, 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 further in the mountains. Go and live with nature in that sense, you know. And move away from society. And it's not so easy. It can no, be a, it's not no, easy at it can all. be a little bit difficult, you know. A little bit. Yeah, no how strong yeah. you think you is, you know. That's why I, I always say Babylon. But I use it too in a different way because there are good side and there are bad side. So it's used to choose the side you want from the system. It's not everything from the system is bad. It's always be a balance, you know. So if you can make problem with your own self from the system, why? Because you choose the bad thing to take from the system. So it starts to affect you. So look good when you're taking and using the system. Because like I said before, repeat myself, good things in it. And good things in it, you take it, it can move your life to a different direction in this time too, you know. So chocolate is here, but <laughs> super chocolate. Yes. So when you come to freelance chocolate place, you have access to all these things, you know. You will see natural things, you know. Especially my freelance Switzerland baby, you know. Yes, I t spoke to him yesterday, you know. And, yeah. he and he told me he will be here like in January, February, you know. And he wants to bring a girl, yeah. So good morning, my Switzerland baby, here. Yeah? One love. I hope to see you sometime <laughs> soon next year. Bless. <laughs> <laughs>
some people, it, when they grater, it mash up the finger, you know. Yeah. You know. But true, when I was a child, I, you see, I didn't even have to look, you know. And I can still I use it, you know. Because when I was a child, this is the way of survival with me and my parents, you know. And hold up your hand. Let me see. You got all your fingers still? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah. he's right. Yeah. He's correct. So we used to make our own oil. So we have a lot of coconut. So we have to grate it. Because we know to make coconut oil in you know, the original way, you know. Yeah, man, and the wood fire outside here. Peel all the coconut, the dry one, like how you see me eat a while ago, and pick it out like this, and then grate it, and put it on the wood fire, and let it boil. And when it boils, it, it, like this, the oil, you just skim off the oil. Mm -hmm. the oil float up on top, you know? Yeah, you're yes. away. Yes. <coughs> Best oil, better than corn oil and all these oil you buy in the store, coconut oil. Could, could you use it for, for, for cooking if you take it here? Yeah, yeah. For, for sure. No worries, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lady, when you go into the river, the last shop on this road, mm -hmm. she sells the original coconut oil. The small shop there? Yeah, oh, if you oh. buy that and cook with it, yeah, mm -hmm. your food's <laughs> super good. You don't even have to eat meat now, you can just throw the oil on it. You, you, you know the original coconut oil? Oh yeah. Ah, tell them, super yeah, good. Yes, really nice. Really good. But one time in the 70s, when Babylon wants corn oil and all these oil to sell, they put it on the news and all these madness say coconut oil is not good for human because you make you get cancer or all this fuckery, you know? Total fuckery. And they, yeah. they did a big palm oil industry yeah. push to yeah. Yeah. mega palm industry in Asia. Now now there's palm oil in every single product, it yeah. seems. Uh, and now they come in around back now and they say coconut oil. The same people who say it's bad <laughs> still come around and say coconut oil is the best oil to use. You know? <clears throat> it's just like ganja. Just like ganja, first time, ganja is bad, bad, because my grandmother, she didn't like ganja, you know, and she didn't even want me to smoke ganja, you know, because when you smoke ganja, you will mad, you know, <laughs> that's what they say here in Jamaica, I remember, mm -hmm. when you smoke, you get mad, you, you're going to turn a madman, you know, yeah. and now, the system take it over because of money, and making big money from it, you know, and the poor guy, they're not going to make money from it no more. Because the farmer here, they don't know about plant ganja by reading book. Because some of these farmers cannot read, you know. Mm -hmm. They just know to dig a hole, put seed, and do what they have to do. Babylon way now, you have to, how much taste seed this. These people don't know this mm -hmm. fuck, you know. Yeah. No. Just with the natural. Yeah, yeah. So they're taking away the business from the small man. The small man out of the business, you know. First thing, the license is ten thousand US dollar. We are poor people gonna get 10, ten grand. Ten thousand US. And is it hard to get to in, or in Jamaica? As long as you have the money, can you get it here? Pretty much. Yeah. Maybe you need some connection with politicians. Mm -hmm. It's all about corruption, you know. Because who know who, you know. So maybe the normal guy cannot just get it like that, you know. You have to know a guy in the system or somebody know somebody, you know. That's how it works. You know? mm -hmm. Yes, you have to have name, you know. So, Chucky, this is how to make natural coconut yes, milk. Yes, this is the original way. I just grated the coconut, you know. So now me squeeze the juice, you know. And this is the way you make the oil too. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the way they make coconut oil, you know. You squeeze it like this, you know. And after you squeeze it like this and the juice, you skim it off. Mm -hmm. And put it in a Dutch pot like this. But, but you, uh, you have to heat it at one point. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You boil it. Yeah. It's boil, boil it, you know. And then it dry down and come back to the oil. The water come out. While you keep on boiling, the water come out. And it just process to oil. Yeah, and the water is going to reduce yes, time. Yes, goes, yes, so yes, yes. And, and then you just take a spoon and skim off the oil. Mm -hmm. And the bottom part, we call it custard. Mm -hmm. As a child, we used to eat the custard oh, so with good. dumpling right. or bread. It's nice. Mm -hmm. it's nice. Nothing waste, you know. Yeah. But these kids don't do these things no fucking <laughs> way. <morning. laughs> no. You know who does this thing? Rati, Moko's grandson. Ah, still does. Still did. And you know what? We go fishing with the pot with the custard to catch Tom Tom. All right. So that's old school. You know, All right. Like, so this man know what I'm telling you is not lying. Then. He, I'm not brainwashing you. I'm glad much easier. <laughs> yes, I'm glad much easier. Could yeah. say yes. It's yeah. true, Chucky talking. You know? yeah. Yes, yeah. because he stay by Moko and. Old school is up by Mokka with Ratti, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why Ratti becomes so important and becomes so popular on YouTube too. Because yeah. he have yeah. this old He's an important school. guy. He has all the knowledge. Yeah, man. It's passed down knowledge, yeah, which is so important. Because yes. a lot yes. of kids have totally missed that. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, big up Ratti. Thank you for teaching me how to catch Tom Tom. Yes.
He was catching them with a machete the other day. Yeah, I know. He had goggles on and was going under the water and chopping these little fish, <laughs> pulling yeah. them out. I couldn't believe it. I thought he was just messing around. And yes. then he pulls out a big tom-tom. I said, man, how did you do that? So big up Ratti. Yeah, and big, big up Ratti. Moki. Yeah. Mokoto, you know? We are one family. One family. Although you're in St. Thomas and me in Portland, Moko, you're welcome at my place every time. We are one big family here. One love. Chucky, not against you. Chucky, in favor of you in every way. Right? One love. Rastafari, I bless, Moko. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Keep it like that, you know? One yeah. big family. Good vibes. Yeah. Good vibes. Good energy. Look at this milk. Now, this is the real chocolate when you have fresh. Not just fresh coconut milk, fresh picked from the tree yeah, and picking. made minutes ago. This is so legit. And chocolate by Miriam. Yeah. Handmade. See, so you, you have to learn these things you know, that we say. If the system falls down, you don't commit suicide. You can provide your food, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen to a lot of people. Yes, because they don't learn practical way of life. They, they, they learn how to survive by the system. And when the system become fail, fail them, they become homeless. They don't know what to do. They're going around in fucking circle, you know. Mm -hmm. They cannot find a way out, you know. They got all their life based upon wake up, go to my work, sit in the office and blah blah blah. So when they when they lose that opportunity, ah <laughs> they, they, they get fucked up, you know. Because mm -hmm. they don't know the next way how to survive, you know. Mm -hmm. So survival is very important. Don't get me wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying academic is bad, you know. Don't get me wrong. No, you know? no, but I understand. Yeah, what you're if you need yeah. balance, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. To so it needs, it needs one more heat up, then Chucky, to yes, blend them yes, up together. Yes, one more heat up. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing right. All right, sir. I gotta make it freelance, you know. So everybody take the portion what they want, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not a sharer, you know, because, <laughs> no, I don't like it, because maybe I give you two dumplings and it's one you want, you know, and then you're forced to eat two just to please me, you know, so I leave it freelance open, so <laughs> you take what you want to make it wrap up for you. Yeah, man, that's how it works, exactly. you know? Hashtag freelance. Yeah, so give thanks, you know, so Grab you can a cup. try it. When Thank you. All right, let me see your reaction, Chucky. This is from Ms. Miriam. It's nice, but the only thing, if you need sugar, the sugar could change the taste, you know. Mm. But for me, just without sugar, it's good same way, you know. Yes, nice, you know. And it remember, bring back memory of my childhood growing up, you know. So give thanks to Miss Miriam, you know. And know. give thanks to you, Macho, to bring it to my place, you know. And let me drink some chocolate tea, yeah? One love. Look at that oil on it, man. It's a real chocolate taste. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a real chocolate taste, like yeah? dark chocolate. <laughs> it's hot. Watch out, people, it's hot. <laughs> Real nice. You might want some sugar to sweeten it, though, because, yeah, it's, it's not a naturally sweet thing. Right. So, this was like some condensed milk. and mm. It depends what you're looking for. You, know? mm. you can just use it like this. But if you're looking for sweet, sweet taste, you need to add sugar or milk. But for me, it's no problem. Right. The only thing good about it, Macho, are you welcome again? You bring me back to my childhood with this chocolate <laughs> yes, tea, you know, bro. in the morning, you know. Cheers. One love, man. Cheers. Love. You know? Yeah. Cheers. Alice Clark. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good. Yeah. All right, so Tim and Leon have some milk here and uh, poured it in. Got a nice creamy texture and I think it's actually better like this. I like a little bit of creaminess to it. Oh man, yeah, that's the spot. And it's amazing how the oil kind of sits on top. You get this nice kind of slickness on your lips. But yeah, the little hint of cinnamon, dark chocolate, coconut, and then with a little bit of full cream milk just to thicken it up a bit. It is so nice. Mm -hmm. 